When I think of CSSP, I think of the word strategic and insightful. Children and families, place-based, equity. CSSP is both respectful and respected in the sense that um, while CSSP is seen as a national thought leader, there's never a moment when CSSP stops listening to what else can be known and developed and practiced out there. So that, that quest for learning, thirst for learning is always there. We need institutions like CSSP. Uh, we need institutions that challenge some of what we're seeing, um, both at the federal level and in some cases at the local level, to be a voice for families and for children and to be a voice for local communities. CSSP is very genuinely focused on families in a way that, I mean, really almost no place is. And I think that's what the center does about well. It gets into the community, into the neighborhoods, partners with the natural leaders, um, and really does work that's meaningful on behalf of children and families. The center is about identifying the best possible strategies for achieving reforms of human service systems, but then actually working in jurisdictions and with jurisdictions to implement those reforms. CSSP has been an important partner on our path to understand how to build, build healthy communities from a very local and neighborhood perspective, but with an eye towards statewide impact. So it's not been an easy uh, journey, but they've been a great partner in helping us to understand uh, the power and voice of community and how they can forge uh, a meaningful wellness path for their own neighborhoods. I don't know very many organizations that um, brings that sort of empathy, compassion, and humanity to its work and is so open about it. What CSSP uh, does and how they approach their work in community has always been around collaboration, around really honoring the wisdom in the community. We will never get to where we need to be with all children and families thriving unless we kind of shine a focus on those populations that are excluded from opportunities. As a uh, Native American, Chicana person, uh, there have been conversations to talk about the race equity frame that they hold and how it can be brought in to make sure that it's inclusive of all peoples. And I've really appreciated their um, acknowledgement that their race equity frame should include uh, not only race, but ethnicity and sovereignty. They've really taken on both internally their own organization, but very importantly, very publicly, saying we can't get change that we want, we can't get the results we want, we can't make sure that every child is successful in America if we don't take on racial equity in a very serious way. And both in terms of what they've already done, but very importantly in terms of the future, I think this may be one of the biggest contributions that CSSP will ever make. I think we have the right people and the right ideas and the right uh, partnerships to really push our equity work um, forward on all of our work and really do more um, racial um, and social justice. If there is one thing that the CSSP family can do over the next 40 years to be successful, I think it is to inspire this nation to craft solutions that are commensurate with our nation's challenges. It's easy for many organizations to grab for the low-hanging fruit. CSSP really goes after the tough nuts to crack. My hope for CSSP in the future is that we will maintain our focus and our mission. And our, and our mission is an economically and racially just society. I would wish it would keep making a difference. I think we have. Nobody at CSSP is satisfied remotely with the difference we've made, but we are proud of it and I would hope that continues for those who are here in the future. I do think that we have, were very influential in bringing early attention to racial and ethnic disparities that exist within the child welfare system. The continuing evolution of their focus on racial equity is the, in my mind, the booster that takes the effectiveness of CSSP to a whole nother level. 
I almost think that the, the value that we bring and the value I hope we bring is that we're a place that's innovative and flexible enough and strong enough in sort of our focus that no matter what the political climate and no matter what the issue, we stay focused on the big things that matter to us. Our work is relevant um, and that it's not just what we think here in Washington, D.C. or New York makes the most sense, but that this work is relevant to people. Uh, a key goal is to continue to look for those innovative strategies that push us towards scale, that allow us to reach larger numbers of families, communities, uh, and cities across the nation. Just to use data and evidence to hold policymakers accountable and to help them to sharpen and focus their vision around making smart policies. That this incredible legacy that Frank and Judy and the founders of this organization have laid the groundwork for and built, that we just continue to build on it to make it even greater than what it is today. To make everything we do and say and spend contribute in some manner to racial justice uh, and to uh, uh, equity uh, and to the reduction of the disparities and opportunities uh, across racial and ethnic lines. That is really now the great challenge of the 21st century as far as I'm concerned and the center is in the middle of it. I think what we offer is a place that is really centered on families and centered on equity and I think that's been its legacy and I think that's what it'll be. If we were telling the story 40 years from now, we'd be looking back to 2018 and say, oh yeah, that was the year when CSSP said, you know what, we're going even deeper than we've ever gone before to make sure that everything is around a true inclusion and equity agenda because CSSP has a unique and really important role to play in that.